So welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be continuing with part two of the 3D maze. Uh, so here's what we have so far. We have our distances list that we'll be using for our raycaster and we can navigate our player. Hold on, let me show it. We can navigate our player using the arrow keys. And today we'll be working on our raycaster so it'll make it 3D. Okay, let's get into it. So uh, right now, go to the distance sprite and we're going to make a new block and name it draw. And have the run without screen refresh uh, on and then press OK. OK. So uh, let's import the pen extension. So now we have our pen blocks. And let's have our uh, distance dot go to x negative 237.5 and 180. We're going to go right here because our pen size is going to be slightly uh, larger, so it'll cover up the whole screen. Uh, so let's put this under the define draw and then go down to pen. And then let's set the pen size to five. Okay. And then we need to set our pen color to something. So um, we're going to use this brightness effect uh, to uh, simulate that the distance so it'll look like uh, parts of the wall are further than others so um, right now all it matters is the saturation and the color so I'll just make this a light bluish color like that and then let's erase everything and set the pen up Okay, now let's make a new variable and name it column. And right here, let's set the column to one. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, let's get a repeat blank. So right here. And then go down to your variables and get length of distances and put that in there. All right, so instead of, inside of our repeat loop, let's get set pen brightness. So go down to pen and set pen brightness. Um, and then let's get a plus block and put five right here. And then item and get this and put this in here. Item column of distances. So this will have uh, us draw the um, distance so it looks like um, parts of the wall are further than others. So now let's set Y to negative 1,200 divided by item column of distances. Okay. Now let's put this below set pin brightness and then let's get a pen down block, pen down. And then um, let's get set, change this, duplicate this to uh, 1,200. Then we'll change the X by five since our pen size is five x by 5. 
Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Okay, so now let's get a change x by 5. Uh, change the x by 5. Oh, and also put a pen up block between these so that uh, it doesn't drag the pen over. And then let's change the column by 1. And then now we can use our draw block, and let's put it under sense. And now we have a 3D maze. So now you can see that um, we can, in fact, move around this maze. But it's not quite finished yet, because um, our map isn't hidden and we still kind of have our uh, variables showing, so I'll hide those. And um, I'd like to make a um, function where if you hold down space, then uh, you'll be able to see the player in the map. So um, in the player sprite, okay, so let's get a one green flag clicked and get a forever loop and get an if else block and go down to sensing and get a key space pressed um, now go back up to looks and in this spot we're gonna put um, clear graphic effects so right here and then in this spot we'll set the ghost effect to a hundred Okay, so now if we hold down our space button, we can see where the player is on the map. But then we also want to uh, hide the map. So I'll also go to the map and put that same code. Uh, when green flag is clicked, forever. Um, if else... space is pressed then we'll clear our graphic effects and then set the ghost effect to 100 uh, set all right and let's have our maze go to the center so go to X 0 y0 zero. all right Okay, so we also need to adjust where our person spawns. Okay. And it'll be around right there. Okay. Alright, so it should work now, and we have our uh, maze, so we can move around and interact with it so if we try and move against the wall it won't let us go through and if I hold space it shows us where our player is okay so now uh, we want to make it so that when we clear the maze uh, when we get out of the maze right here we have to make sure that there's like a you win uh, message so that the player knows that they won and then we'll stop the game so right now there's no you win as you can see if I walk out there's no you no you win message so let's make that right now and I'll draw that so let's make a new sprite and paint one and I'll just name this win and let's select the text tool, and I'll make this green. You win. Make this a little bit larger. And put this in the center. So, um... Uh, 
Okay, so now we have our UN message, and I'll just have it go to the center. Okay, so now we can code it. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do for making this work is that we're going to check that if the player's exposition is past this wall, because that the uh, only way that you can get out on this side is more than 172, then we'll show this and then we'll stop the game. All right. So in the player sprite, let's go down and get get into the control and get an if. Um, then go get an X position. Go to operators and get a more than. And right now, uh, my player is outside the maze at X172. That's about where the uh, exit is. So 172. And then if it's this, then we will broadcast win. And then in the win sprite, when the green flag is clicked, we want to hide it so that it doesn't show. And then when I receive win, then we'll make it show and we'll stop all. Okay. So now I think we should try it, and let me just go full screen, I'll just go through this maze. Alright, so our player does, is able to move around, and just to speed things up a little bit, I'm going to drag our player down here. Okay, so now we're near our exit and as you can see it says you win after we've exited our maze so that works please like share and subscribe and ring the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye